Welcome to Out of Phase. On this video, the goal is to get the Outlaw Go Kart running and take it on a test trip. The main objective is to get the cart actually running. I went ahead and removed all the old fuel system, except for the carburetor, the gas tank, the lines are gone. I got everything uh, plugged. That way to kind of limit the amount of fumes I'm bringing in the garage. And I ordered a couple of parts from Go Power Sports and BMI. This tank is really awesome. Kind of splurged on this one. Didn't really need to go that expensive on a tank, but I did because look how cool it's going to fit in there. Is that not perfect? And of course, I got carburetor over there. I got a new air filter and I got some lines. So we are definitely on pace to get this thing running today. And I definitely need to vacuum this because there is a ton of mud. And of course, as you notice, I took the cage off just so it's out of the way. Um, so yeah, let's get to work. Here's the one that was on it before. I am going to save this just in case uh, the jets don't work good on the stage two. I can see what type of jets these are and maybe clean them. All our gaskets and stuff look good, so I'm just going to reuse all these gaskets. Well, I mean, I'm here, I might as well clean, clean it up a little bit, right? I was cleaning this up and I noticed that the spark plug wire has a lot of dry rot cracking. This definitely tells me this cart probably set outside, you know, for some of its life. And I definitely would like, even though it probably doesn't need it, I'm definitely going to put a new spark plug wire on it. All right, let's throw our filter on. Took off the clear line that goes from the valve cover to the pulse pump. Uh, Cause I'm gonna change that. I wanna make our fuel lines clear and the vent lines black. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace the valve cover cause I got something else we're gonna do. My thought process is anything coming out of the valve cover I wanted to make black and clear be the fuel. The problem with that is my parts store only had black in 5 16 so I'm going to do black this vent in the middle of the valve cover I'm going to take to the catch can which I already mounted a black I'll show you that real quick I wanted a black catch can because eventually this is not going to be red and I actually plumbed it correctly the old one's not plumbed correctly now I'm just going to run some clear for the vent so I guess it'll be anything Ugh. come on Anything that's going, I guess, to the pulse pump now will be clear. I definitely want to keep that away from the exhaust. So I might run it. Oh yeah, you want to see something cool? I got all the bind out of the throttle. Boom! Wide open throttle. Boom! 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 It's going to be sweet. Get this out of the throttle zone. Connect it to that. Connected to right about, I think that'll work good. Put a zip tie there. Let's cut this. Of course, I don't have my cutters. Check that, that's gonna work good. So now we got our pulse for the engine to start. All right, I got this little uh, reducer fitting. This is gonna allow us to reduce the carburetor from 3 16 to the feed out of the pulse pump, which is a quarter. That's up here at the top. I think we go right about there. I'm not smashing the fuel line, but I definitely want to keep it away from our throttle here. So we're gonna dive in, let's go ahead and cut that.
Check that out, looks good. Put the information on spark plug gap on these online. So out of the box, it was 0 0.025. Opened it up a little bit to 0 0.028. So we'll see how it looks and see how it does. All right, got the hose all on and we're good to go. Kind of had an offset mount it just given the way this frame design is you have more room on the right side for your leg so we offset it just a little bit we're going to have the perfect amount to run our fuel line to the pulse pump this fuel tank turned out really good now let's go ahead and plumb our feed for our pulse pump and from there we'll drain the oil and see if we can get this thing to start No, I can't leave anything alone. I put a legit catch can set up on it, change it up a little bit, and I decided to change up my layout. I swapped the pulse pump because the feed being up here was going to be closer to the exhaust than me having um, the line going to the carburetor. It was going to be a closer distance, so I switched that up, and we're just ready to run our tank, the pulse pump line and then change the oil and we can see if we can get this thing running. Yeah, I know it's not too pretty. It doesn't actually look too bad. But my thought process was I wanted to keep the fuel line away from things it could rub on. And so this is really, really sturdy. And then I moved this up here that way to prevent it from rubbing the side of the engine right there. And so overall I'm really happy with how this turned out. In the comments let me know, kind of what I've been reading is this blue paint meant it was like the rookie class. And uh, the purple on the valve cover that used to be there meant that you could only have basically, you could do any sort of carburetor work, but it had to be 10.5 valve springs and you could have exhaust, but the internal of the engine had to be stock. So it's kind of like a stock clone class um, before. And I'm thinking I'm just going to either, I'm probably just going to paint this, you know, black, some sort of, uh, you know, exhaust paint or something like that. Uh, overall, I just want this thing to look really, really clean. So this turned out really good. This little card's gotten some love. It's probably hasn't gotten a long time. crank this thing like 40 times I put a zip tie to mark where it's at maybe this pulse pump is bad so I'm gonna get back to it and see if we get the fuel to suck up higher maybe I just need to really really crank this thing so much it's probably as good far as you can go to the, basically the ceiling to get this thing primed to get it fired. I'm gonna see if it'll fire one more time and then maybe we'll go for a rip in the backyard.
Well, our fuel's back down to here. Good thing is we have no leaks. Bad thing is, unless it was running uh, and I turned it off, now I can't get the fuel system to be primed at the pulse pump again. So I think I'm going to order a new pulse pump and see if that helps the situation. And we'll get to testing this when that comes in. As you saw, trying to do a restart, this thing would not fire back up and the fuel from the pulse pump kept going down. The only way to get the car started was to basically put the front of the car up in the air to get fuel to the carburetor and then you could fire it off and the pulse pump would start working. So I basically I did three things. The problems might have been that I wasn't running a baffle plate in the black valve cover. So I'm going to go ahead and swap this over and uh, we'll see if this fixes our issue. I also put a new pulse pump from Amazon on it. And thirdly, I redid this fuel line. I wanted my fuel filter to be more flat. So now it's parallel with the frame, nice and flat. And my theory was, is that my filtration just maybe was kind of holding, holding me back. So that last one probably wasn't that important. Um, but yeah, it was just a theory. So as you can see now, I've cranked the engine and it's holding the pressure. It's no longer coming back down here like it was. So I think overall, I think this thing's ready to rock and test. Let's fire it up and start it. And then uh, if it starts, we will uh, cruise it around the backyard and see how it feels. Um, if everything goes good with the test, I'd say it might be time to maybe address the seat and put some bigger wheels and tires that are going to really help us out when we do this race day. Because obviously this is a field, this is a... Uh, this is a course that's cut into a field, so we need some ground clearance. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, I have a carburetor adjusted like it was in the old one, so it should be fine, but put on the brake just in case. Chain came off. I think it's too low. I don't even know where the wheel is going. It's just too low. It is pretty low. I'm like stuck in the grass. All right. All right, chain's back on. I'm stuck in the grass. In the it's definitely getting caught in some of the yard. If you don't continue going like giving it quite a bit of throttle, then it seems like not want to go afterwards. 
Yeah. It was definitely, a few times I pushed you, it was definitely stuck on the ground. It turned very tight at all. Like, I had to go wide. Well, it's, it's set up for doing giant ovals, right? Yeah. So we might need to, there's a little bit of an adjustment that we can do on it. How does your arms feel over the top of the chair? It's all right. It's not the most comfortable. Okay. How much throttle were you giving it? Not, not very much. Okay. What were you saying about the brakes? Whenever it goes down the hill, it doesn't really like to stop. It had my foot on the brake the whole entire time, all the way, and it was still going. Yeah. It just wants to go then. It just wants to go. Right, there you have it. This thing is rare. <laughs> wow. This thing is rared up and ready to go. How cool is that? I'm excited for part three. I mean, the Outlaw is, it's gonna rise again. We're making it cool how it's gonna be and just really cool to bring something like this back to life that was, it was in such bad shape and to hear it run like that, man, I'm fired up. Thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.